In the HTML introduction screencast, we compared the HTML markup produced by a SAS application to what is displayed on the screen. One thing we noticed was that certain HTML element tags have attributes associated with them. For example, this table tag has an ID attribute whose value is movies, and this h1 or top-level heading element has a class attribute whose value is title. In this screencast, we're going to take a closer look at two particular attributes, the ID and class attributes, which can be present on almost any tag and which make it easy to attach visual style information to particular elements to control how the browser will display them. Once again, we'll use the Firefox developer toolbar to help. Under the information menu, we'll turn on display element information, which brings up a floating window that we can temporarily move out of the way. Now, whenever we hover the mouse over a page element, Firefox will draw a red border around the element, including any elements nested inside it. Firefox will also display in the web developer information bar the other elements inside which the selected element is nested. In this case, you can see that we've selected a th element, and the information bar shows that it's nested inside a tr element, which is nested inside a thead, and so on all the way up to HTML, which is the element that contains the entire document. If we compare this with our HTML markup, we can confirm that the th element really is nested inside of tr, inside of thead, inside of table, and so forth, matching what we see in the information bar. So let's turn our attention to two particular attributes, starting with ID. We can see that this table element has an ID whose value is movies. And if we hover over an element enclosed inside the table, in the information bar, you can see table pound movies. The pound sign is a notation meaning the element whose ID attribute has this value. So the information bar is showing us a table element whose ID is movies. Similarly, this h1 or top level header has a class attribute whose value is title. This element corresponds to the Rotten Potatoes header at the top of each page. And if I hover over it, in the information bar, you see h1.title. As you might guess, the dot notation means the element whose class attribute has this value, or in this case, the h1 element whose class attribute has the value title. As the book explains, the value of an ID attribute must be unique to a single element on any given page, whereas it's perfectly fine for multiple elements to share the same class attribute, even elements of different types like h1 and table. In the next screencast, we'll see how the class and ID attributes can be used to connect page elements to visual appearance or style information. To review what we did in this screencast, we used the Firefox developer toolbar to show information about an element when we hover over it, including the element's position in the overall page hierarchy and the values of the element's class or ID attributes if it has any.